What is up YouTube? Texas Car Spotters here back with yet another video. Today we are going to be yet again judging cars off Craigslist. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're here. Comment down below what was your favorite car from the video. But uh, getting right into it, first off we have a 98 240SX K24DE motor and transmission asking $4,000. Forgetting the uh, description down below, let's look straight at the pictures. Okay, so it is a S13. Probably my favorite chassis out of all the S chassis. Gutted interior. Racing seat. Looks like he has an angle kit done to it. Man, this thing is completely empty. This thing looks like it was just built for drifting. By the way, this is a drift special only. Looks like he has some extra parts and whatnot on the floor. Those look like uh, side skirts sitting right there on the floor right there. Oh, he has some spare tail lights. No, that's the uh, motor right there, the KA. I remember I was about to buy one of these, a 240, but then I came to my senses and decided not to because of all the money that I knew I was going to dump into it. But, uh, onto the description. Interior completely gutted. Fiberglass dash. Needs sanding. Five point racing harness seats. Billet suspension. Adjustable coilovers. Relocated battery, drift brake, stainless steel exhaust, headers, and exhaust tip. Brand new factory dash with no cracks. Ooh, those go for a lot of money. Non crack dashes. Okay, so yeah, those were uh, fenders, I believe, sitting on the floor because he says he has a wide body fender kit. Rear windshield spoiler, aluminum air intake, complete interior pieces, Garrett Type 2 Turbo, complete K24 gasket set, motor only, missing turbo, hmm. California title. Let's just go through the pictures one more time. This is definitely a purpose-built drift car. I wonder if he has the interior pieces or if he just sold them. But uh, yeah, on to the next one. Next up we have Not Your Grandma's Grocery Getter. This is a Volvo 740 Drift Wagon. Which has a uh, 5 -0 out of a Fox Body Mustang. It has been caged, still has the stock passenger seats, but drift race seat, gotta love it. Adjustable camber. Wow, look at that wiring job. I hope uh, nobody like kicks that whenever you're sliding around and messes something up. Look at those cut fenders to fit the bigger wheels. Looks like he did, uh... What is that? Lexan windows? Yeah, I'm actually uh, really digging the look of this wagon. If I were to do a drift wagon, this is probably what it would be. Or, if I just had money to ball out, it'd be like a CTSV wagon, but unfortunately I don't have that kind of money. Let's uh, see what he says about in the description. 5.0 swapped Volvo drift wagon, roll cage, BC coilovers, hydraulic e-brake, still has full interior. 
Oh, my bad. Has full interior removed, including windows to make it a light but long whistle. Welded diff, newer axle. Super loud. Ready to drift. Second you pick it up. And what else? He has a slew of spare parts. Okay, that's something about like body stuff. Blue title that has never been transferred between the three or four of us that have owned it since the swap. But if you're really interested in getting it in your name, we can get it worked out. Can be street driven under a Texas one trip permit if you can't afford to trailer at home. I use that permit to drive it to show just <laughs> okay. Yeah, but an all in all super clean car. Let's just scroll through the pictures one more time here. Racing harnesses. And that e brake looks serious. Looks like he ripped up the uh, steering wheel airbag, didn't notice that. Yeah, super clean, super clean. Let's see what's up next. Next up, we have a 2003 Nissan 350Z. That is a well, not really so much a lot of Zs, but or threes, I meant. Drift ready, six thousand dollars. I really love this color in these cars. Love the black wheels to match. They kind of remind me of the. Uh, TE-37s. But uh, scrolling through the pictures, for the most part it looks pretty stock. Ooh. Humongous door ding and ding in my rear quarter panel. Yeah, you can definitely tell he drifts this car. I hope this is not his daily driver. Aftermarket steering wheel. That's really all you can tell from the pictures okay Sparco racing seat mm, let's see what he says about in the description base model has about 140,000 miles was purpose built to drift and to be used on the track it is street legal clean title I'm not gonna read through all this I'll just let you uh pause the video right here asking 6k or best offer <laughs> needs body work yeah paint is 7 out of 10 well it's fine we'll just buff it right out next up sticking within the Nissan family we have a 92 Skyline R32 GTST guys asking eleven thousand dollars for it. Runs in drives, drift ready, shifts great, AC and heat work. That is a bonus, especially in this Texas heat. Mods includes exhaust, intake, and coilovers. And then it looks like he's just gone through some basic maintenance stuff. Has a fist-sized dent on one of the fenders. Needs a new speedometer cable. Oh, look at that. He actually shows... He actually has a YouTube video showing the walk, a uh, walk around of the car. Okay, title in hand. Let's, uh, let's scroll through some of these pictures. Okay, pretty clean car. Oh, there's the dent. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's it. Is that like a deep gray or is that black? Nope. Oh, right, that is right. It is right hand drive. I was like, wait a minute, why is the racing seat on the passenger side, not the driver's side? It is on the driver's side. The bride racing seat. For once, it's not Sparko. Okay. Momo racing wheel, okay. Looks like he has a has boost gauge there. Man, this car is super clean. I 
Mm. Nothing like a uh, RB. All right, once again, sticking within the Nissan family, now we have a 90 Nissan Skyline GTS-T Type M. The guy's asking about the same price. He's asking $10,500. But uh, scrolling through the pictures, I think I might like this one a little bit more. Silver, really digging those wheels. He's got hood pins. At first glance, you really wouldn't think somebody used this car for drifting. See the city in the background once again. RB looks like he's had quite some stuff done to it. I'm really digging those headlights or headlamps. I mean, aftermarket head unit, boost gauge, aftermarket steering wheel. Looks like I don't know. Once again, right hand drive it does have a racing seat. Nope, a bride. Look at that. These two guys are Bride Brothers. Clean New Mexico title. Not too many uh, Texas titles in this video. A brand new yellow speed coilovers. Guys, I'm not going to read through this once again. All of this. Slider Groders. Godspeed Arm. HKS Full Exhaust. RB25. Oh, yeah. Keyless door locks. Wait, are the door handles still there? I don't know why I thought he meant like the shade doors where people like open up the doors with their key fob if you've ever seen that. Then no, 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 yeah. Very good looking car. I definitely sported. I think out of all the skylines, my favorite is the R34. Then R35, R33, R32. And I know I might get a lot of hate for that. Last but certainly not least, we have a 2004 Pontiac GTO drift car. And I don't know what it is about this yellow, but I'm really, really digging it. I think I like how the black wheels contrast with the black roof. It just it flows really well. And I also like how he has the yellow lettering on the windshield to match the yellow paint job. But uh scrolling through the pictures, car does look to be gutted. Wow, this looks like full on drift missile right here. Super clean, might have an angle kit because of how far out those uh, front wheels stick. Picture of him sliding it around. Yep, look at that angle kit right there. What kind, if anybody knows what kind of angle kit this is, comment down below. Has matching yellow brake calipers. Quick release steering wheel right there. roll cage yeah <laughs> I think he might be the first person to actually have two racing seats on this list but they don't look to be made by the same people no oh, nothing like an LS very clean very clean There, on to the description. 2004 LS1 GTO dyno at 400 horsepower. 400 wheel. Oof. Uh, tubular front suspension. Increased steering angle. Asking 10,000 no low ball offers. Open to trades, guys. If you're in the Houston area and you want this car. 72,000 miles. That's actually pretty good for this car seeing how it's 14 years old just uh I'm just gonna let you guys read through this or 
right here. I'm not gonna go through all of that. But, uh, yeah, I remember I almost bought not the GTO, but a G8 GT. I remember at cash in hand, was gonna go buy it that morning. Well, I texted the guy about it, he's like, yeah, you can come check it out tomorrow. So I had cash in hand, ready to buy. I text him like, hey dude, text me the address, and he's like, sorry sir, I just sold it about an hour ago. I was so sad, I was really looking forward to owning a, G a G8. Unfortunately, I wish it would have been the GXP, because those come as a manual. I, was, I really was searching for a manual car. Yet, uh, still. I mean, it has a manual mode, but who uses it? Might as well just use the automatic. But, uh, yeah. Great looking car. You're really digging the yellow. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll get a G8 or GT. So, comment down below if I should. If you'd like to see YouTube videos on that. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Once again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you can. Come back for more. I don't know how often I'm going to upload. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.